Hey, what is going on guys? It is Seth here from the Cruising Classics YouTube channel showcasing this beautiful 1966 Chevrolet Impala SS. This car is dressed in Aztec bronze metallic. Excellent chrome and trim. Glass as well. You can see she's got some Kreger wheels underneath it with some white line Michelin tires. This is a true super sport, not a tribute. We have all the correct documentation to show that as well on our website, cruisingclassicsinc.com. Bunch of pictures of, as well of the restoration that took place back in the 80s. This is a one owner car, technically. We purchased it from the guy that purchased it from his friend who was the one owner. So in my opinion, it's still a one owner car. Nonetheless, it is in excellent shape inside, outside, and underneath. You can see some of the jackets the gentleman had sitting there back on the back seat. But it is a bucket seat, center console car, as you can tell. It's got a bunch of wood grain trim. It does have the factory tachometer that was ordered, which then relocates the clock on top of the dashboard, which some people have nicknamed the bullet clock. It does have the factory, I believe it was called the multiplex stereo equalizer down there. See so your climate controls oil pressure and water temp gauges there, her shifter assembly, again it is a center console car, see your Impala SS placard there, but you'll see the inside of this car is in very nice shape, and again in my opinion this car is a time capsule just with the documentation we have, all the really cool pictures with him and his friends and just building the car. Just is really cool. It's definitely one of my favorite things about doing this job is when you find a car like this, or get to film a car like this, rather. See a little Chevrolet Club there. Again, Prager wheels, white line Michelin tires, drum brakes front and rear. Let's see if I can figure out uh, which key it is here to open the trunk, show you guys that. Oops. You'll find in here a bunch of documentation of the car. You can see the gentleman even kept the old payment book there. The protector plate is found here. Unfortunately, this frame is cracked. But you can see the protecto plate is there. Looks like a bunch of miscellaneous documentation in that folder there. But you'll see some pictures of the trophies. I mean, some really cool stuff. Inside this folder. I think I have it upside down. Yep, just give me one moment to flip this around. In this folder, you'll find the original window sticker there. But you can see some photos of the restoration that took place, I believe in 86, if I remember correctly. We'll skim past this. You can see 1986 there. But it's just really, really cool. This car has won multiple awards back in the day, in the late 80s. You can see a first place prize there from 87. There's some in here from 86. 88. He kept a check from when he got a first place award. It's just really cool stuff, guys. Uh, I believe that's the gentleman there that owned the car. But to me, that's what's really cool about doing what I do. You can see underneath the trunk here, even the trunk light is still working. So that's pretty cool. Let me make sure I got my keys here. But a car cover and all this stuff is included as well with the car, guys. see your 
tail lights, chrome bumper, all your trim is just in fabulous shape. It does have dual chrome exhaust tips. As far as straight as can be as well, when you look down it. You guys are more than welcome to hire an inspector to come look at the car, fly out here to look at it yourself. We encourage it. We love when people do that. They get a chance to see our 56,000 square foot warehouse here in Columbus, Ohio, right off Fisher and Wilson. I apologize for the train in the background. But you'll see your lights are working under here on either side and your center console light is working as well and your two back lights are working as well as they should. Well, let me step around to the front guys, pop the hood for you, show you guys what's underneath. Alrighty guys, hopefully you guys can hear me with the chain passing by, but it is a 396 big block car. See she has an Edelbrock intake manifold. I didn't have a chance to look under the filter to see what carburetor it is. See your single cylinder power brake there. It does have the uh, windshield washer fluid. Uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, windshield washer fluid reservoir there. But a very, very tidy engine bay. This car was done very well, and for it to be restored in the late 80s, early 70s to look like this, it's just, or I'm sorry, late 70s, early 80s, and it still looked like this is just freaking awesome. So if you guys are interested in this car, give us a call. 614-276-7355 we'd love to chat with you about this car we'd love to show you this car and if you show interest in it you're more than welcome to test drive it let me hop inside fire it up for you at the end of the video you guys can find pictures underneath of the car there i do put every car on the lift that i photograph so see if i can do this one hand Fires right up. So you can see she's got about 65 pounds of oil pressure. Your factory multiplex equalizer does work down here. You can see the light came on. actually sounds pretty good for it to be factory speakers and everything like that but everything does work down here your volume your tone your balance everything works I can show you that you guys want Just another good balance turning there's the rear speakers front speakers that all works see so she's got about 75 pounds of oil pressure now the choke kicked on it's a little chilly here in Columbus and the car was still a little cold, so. But yeah, guys, if you guys are interested in this car, I'll set the parking brake and I'll step out. If you guys are interested in this car, give us a phone call, 614-276-7355. Email is cruisingclassics at att.net. We'd love to chat with you, talk with you about the car. Yeah guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.